Okay, now to our last session. It's going to be, I see Sam is really <laughs> ready to come out. He's going to be the next Darshan. So from America, Sam and Monica. And also we have Isi and Shireen. And from Singapore, Austin and Boon Ki. What's up? I'm good. Hey, hey, you know just now backstage, I just told Sam that Sam, um, we need people to talk more. Then he's like, okay, so I can blabble. And he was so happy. So like, oh. he's the other like uh, UK Darshan right now. Okay. It's on. It's I on. Saying, I was saying yesterday, like I only got through like 25% of my answer because Monica started like pinching me like, Sam, stop blabbering. <laughs> no, but I do agree that yesterday was a little short. So I'm glad that they are giving more, uh, well, us more time today. But first up, how's everyone? How was the session yesterday for y'all? Um, did you also like, have a good night's sleep after that because I know it was a long day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how, how was it yesterday for you, especially up there? Oh, it was so fun. Oh, we had so much fun yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. We slept really good. You slept also really kind of jet lag, so we're like, really good, fun packed day, good sleep. She slept really good because she took up 95% of the bed. Yeah. <laughs> that, okay, that's true. <laughs> okay, so what kind of content were you guys creating yesterday? With everybody? That yeah, with everybody. So we kind of all sat together and we were kind of like, guys, what do we do? Because we also were on a, ti a time crunch. So we were like, okay, we need to think of something that's, we're all in different industries. Like yeah. we do couples, you guys do couples. We have like educational and beauty and all this type of stuff. Exactly. So it was hard to like come up with something that we can all do. But I don't know whose idea was it? Whose idea was it with the try not to cringe? That was your idea? Yeah. So we're kind of uh, like, that's something a trend that like everyone's doing. Yeah. And yeah, it was yeah. really cringy. So. That it was, was really cringy. Was Wait, so you guys we cringy before it can, can you give us a hint of like what was so cringy about the whole thing or like the part of the content? The whole like part of it was like to just make each other cringe. So we all just sat there like what's literally the worst possible thing we could do right now? Okay. And literally just thinking of what I was going to do in my head, I was like, I can't even do this. Like people were watching too. I was like, we can't do this right now. But it's just like making weird voices and faces. So Now, now you're, you're <laughs> making me so excited to watch the video. So is, is the video out? No? I don't know. Who, who edited it? In progress. Okay, how, how, how has it been going? Like uh, what's, what's the status of the video right now? Actually, it's done. But it's I done. haven't sent it to anybody. It's <laughs> done. I saw it. Yeah. It's amazing. It's funny. Yeah. Okay, I can't wait for it to be out. Seriously. Okay, are y'all going to be posting it on your social media? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Great, great, great. Try to post it after today and y'all can check out their Instagram page or TikTok page um, to see how cringy they were. <laughs> <laughs> bad. It's bad. It's really bad. bad. Because and that's coming from us because our content is cringe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just now at backstage, I was asking for Sam to show me the video. He said that they did something and he just really wanted to show me. But he said that like it's so bad they don't know if they want to put it up there for everyone to see. But now they have to put it up on their social media because it's part of our icon contract. You right? Know, it's, <laughs> it's such a shame it can't go up on the big screen. Oh, I know. Such I know. We couldn't figure it out how to <laughs> get the configuration right. But anyway, for EC and Shireen, what was your experience yesterday working with these other four content creators? I think we just laugh a lot. Yeah. Yeah, we laughed a lot. Uh, I th it was, it was honestly a bit chaotic, but it was like good chaos. Yeah. In a good yeah. Way. It yeah. Fun. It was pretty. It fun. was like really amazing, and seeing how we can put all our heads together to form one thing. Right. I think that's the biggest takeaway. Oh, we did. Yeah. We didn't just make one video, we made three. Three, three cringy videos? Three. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one. No. One cringy no, video. Don't have your hopes too high. Oh, okay. <laughs> one one cringy video, but it was two other video content. What were the two other video content? Another one was guessing the female products because we have three guys here. Oh. So we showed them pictures of very difficult female products and asked them to guess. And the, oh the answers was very questionable, guys. We thought okay. one of them was candy. Yeah. Didn't what? work. Out. What and what 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 was it? Oh what my god. It? I wanna I wanna watch it right now. Oh it was hair colours. Wait, oh. you gotta you gotta watch the video on our on our show shows. We okay. can tell you it here. Yeah. It looked like licorice. Here. <laughs> yeah, so you all gotta go watch it. Okay, okay. Then what was the third content? The last one was a whisper oh, yeah. challenge. The, whisper, the whisper challenge. challenge. So yeah. we did three challenges. Okay. Yeah, we did uh the what what's the three? <laughs> Try, don't cringe challenge, a uh, whisper challenge, and uh, guess the product challenge. What is a whisper challenge? Oh, so basically, what you do is uh, we went down a line, and firstly, I whispered something into the microphone, into the camera, and then I went back and whispered it to the next person, who then whispered it to the next person, and the final person um, had to then say out loud what it was. Oh, it's like pass the message. Pass the message, yeah. And 
the coolest part of that was we all have different accents. Like oh. we're all from like different places. So like, oh right, right, having someone with a different accent telling you to, and it was like really fast. So like when you told me, I I had no idea. But it didn't end well. So it didn't end well. Was it cringy also? Not super the cringy. Do you want Do you want us to give away? Result, the end result was nowhere near what we <laughs> what we said at the it start. It was half correct. It was half correct. Like it was half, half correct. correct. Like the words were there. Yeah. <laughs> Sound like you guys like really rhymes, had fun yesterday. Totally oh, so much fun. Yeah. You know, it was kind of crazy creating content and trying to come up with ideas in front of an audience as well. Like it was something. Yeah. Oh, there wasn't. Think there was an audience in front just of you. Just a small audience, but okay. I don't think it's anything that we've ever experienced before. And any of on us, a time so. crunch, that was difficult. What was the time period that you guys had? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Wow. For conceptualization all the way to like the end product. But you guys didn't have to edit it on the spot, right? No, we didn't. Okay, so it's just shooting all the raw footages and you guys can go back and edit it. Okay, yeah, it okay. Actually, you know what was a really fun experience was everybody has a different kind of style of thinking of kind of concepts and ideas for videos. Yeah. So it was really kind of fun putting all those different kind of ideas and kind of ways of coming up with ideas together. Nice, nice. What about Austin? What's your experience? You're really quiet today. Uh, is it uh, maybe because I talk too much at the backstage? <laughs> 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 yeah, I think it was really fun like meeting different creators and like coming together to have like ideas because usually we do like a certain format. So we don't really think about doing challenges or trends. Mm. So we just do a format. So like it was quite exciting to see so many people's like different thoughts and the way they approach the video and thinking of challenges. So it was really refreshing. Okay, I'm actually quite excited to see your, your videos, like all three of them. Well, some can demo on the spot. You want to demonstrate to us the cringe challenge? The cringe challenge? <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Me? Okay. I think, I think Monica I will go backstage now. I don't even know what that now. meant. <laughs> I, I would love to like cringe at what you are doing. How about you 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 demonstrate one, one to us? <laughs> Shari, I'm Come not on, doing just it. do one, just do one. <laughs> but, don't, everyone. But, but don't do um something that you guys have already filmed. Just do one for us, like a cringe one. Actually, I have a better candidate. Who? Sam? He's sitting beside me. No, I'm who thinks, who thinks Austin should it? demonstrate? Oh my god. Okay, we just keep pushing them. Make us cringe. It's your chance to shine. Why? Oh How about god. this? How about this? Who thinks Ben should demonstrate? I, but I don't even understand. Yeah! Go, Ben! I don't even understand the challenge. <laughs> okay, Austin, I don't even understand actually, the challenge. Let me demonstrate to you and you can do it too. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Huh? <laughs> Wait. Oh no, no, sorry, sorry. Sounds I'm, a bit dodgy. I don't, I don't get it. Say, uh, I'm icon. Then you do a cringe pose. I'm icon. Then you do a cringe uh, pose. Yeah. No, so I like, I'm icon. Yay! Does anybody in the audience know what we're talking you, you about see, when we're so, saying so, so the cringe challenge? You see the audience face a bit cringing now. So then you got an effect. No, I think they're just bored <laughs> and confused. Ah, is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Before, before we move on to our next topic, how about we take a look at what really went down yesterday with the BTS um video? Oh, we have a BTS video? Okay, hello friends, welcome to our Influence Marketing Conference 2023 and to our friends who come from overseas, welcome to Singapore. Let's say hi to the cameras. Hi. Hello! Because right now, we're going to put you guys for a test. Oh, okay? Good. Now this task is create a TikTok content on the spot, okay? With all of you as a team, okay? And the tagline or theme is I am icon. Okay? of working with other people next time yes. and thank you so much for being with us you got so many supporters at the bank we'll move together with you guys okay thank you I love, I love that you showed the only one we got correct <laughs> really <laughs> It has nothing to do with me as the producers. <laughs> Thank you, producers, for making us look much better than we actually. I was, I was actually looking forward to see the BTS of the cringy part, oh. but I didn't. They, apparently, they didn't put that in. But you know what? I want to ask you guys a question. Like, out of the three videos, how confident are you in them going viral? And which one do you think will be the one going viral? 
You guys have been like experienced content creator, you know right? What? It's a it's a good in between between the female products and the cringy one, right? Yeah. Right, That's right, the most right. Trending one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think you know, I think it depends on the accounts that we post it on as well. That's true. Different accounts have different audiences yeah. and demographics, and the different videos are going to kind of pop off on them. Okay, so for your account, if we were to do the cringy video, how would it do? Probably not as well as, as the female product. The, yeah, female, the product female product would do product better. One would do yeah. the best on ours. What about you two? I feel like it's a good mix because we have done something similar and cringe content actually like we did one and I think it uh, got almost like two million views. Wow, more than awesome. two million views. So I think it's not too bad. So both yeah. the cringe and the female yeah. product would do well on your yes. platform. Yours would be quite difficult, right? Because you're educational. Yes, yes. <laughs> of course, I think it would be. Female I think the female products will do better. Chinese. Oh yeah. But what about the pass the message? Would that work for you? Because it's about language and kind of, you know, passing the message. Oh, oh that, that, that could work too. That could work too. Yes, but I think it was in English. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yes, if yes. you get if you had done it, oh you should have passed the message in Mandarin and like put the oh three of goodness. them at the end. That would have to oh, guess what you're saying. Yeah, that would have been really fun, right? Why weren't you part of this crazy group? I was here trying to host everyone else for four and a half <laughs> hours and almost died after that. I could tell. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I had a lot of fun. Please don't fire me. <laughs> <laughs> Bunki, which pro uh, which of the three video would have done well on your like social media? I think the cringe video would do good. Okay, yeah. so can we look forward to seeing all some of these videos on each of your pro um Instagram or oh, yeah. um, TikTok sure. after today? 100%. Yeah, for sure. Okay, I would kind of like to talk about you know um couple creators because you know there have been a lot of couple creators in the mix of social so social media content creator today. So what has been the biggest challenge between like um, creating content as a couple and creating content as an individual for you? Yeah, so honestly, for your social media, your personal, he kind of just stopped because he has more fun like on like our combined channel. Right. It's a lot of work. What? People don't like me without her. She kind of completes me, so. <laughs> That's not true. Um, but I kept going on my personal one as well. But honestly, mine is just... I don't even like. I don't even have a specific thing that I do. Right. It's all over the place. Where it's like, ours people know what to expect. Mine, I just like. I hear a funny sound and then I like, do something to. So it's like reaction video and yeah, like day to day like, video. This yeah. is basically just the Vampire Diaries or Harry Styles. I told like, you. Mega fan of. <laughs> I told you Harry Styles when you brought up again today, didn't I? Oh, we did. We did. We kept talking about Harry Styles and One Direction. I, but I do like. I talk a lot about like things I just love in life. So like I have my, our dog in the videos a lot. You and, have like, a dog? Oh my gosh, he's perfection. He's adorable. He is cute. our little baby. I saw the photo. It's so <laughs> cute. Nice. He how how perfect. old is he? He's nine months. Oh, a a little baby, yeah, a he's little baby. baby. So, so how's he doing now? We, have, we what? have an Instagram for him if you want to check it out. It's <laughs> our pup Sunny. Is he also a content creator? He, he is. actually is. He had a brand deal. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many babies and um, um, what do you call that pets who have Instagram accounts and they are all way famous than I am. I'm, <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Okay, okay. What about you two? Like, what are the biggest challenge, biggest challenges that you guys have faced as a couple content creator? I think the biggest challenge, um, uh, besides like we stated yesterday, was race. I think that's the biggest challenge, right? Uh, but as content creators go. It's really like discussing the ideas mm -hmm. and like um, formulating what's comfortable to us and comfortable to the audience as well. Right. Yeah, there's there's a lot of times where uh, okay, there's a difference between a sole content creator where you decide what content you want out, but as a couple content creator, you two must discuss what you want. And you even if you guys might have varying ideas, you can you guys have to like compromise or like have to build a content that uh like works for both of y'all. Yeah. yeah. I mean trust us, we have been through it and yeah. really we have argued sometimes about ideas and uh, yeah, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. What's gonna do well on our channel and what's gonna do not so well. Right. So yeah. Yeah, it's really like a trial and error. Sometimes you go into it and then one person's idea gets more traction. And then from there how do you you, I mean, I can't go to her and be like, hey, look, my idea got traction. Like, my see. idea is better, you yeah. lose. No, I can't And then do you're going to be sleeping on the couch the next day. <laughs> yes, yes. And yeah, 
I'd probably not be I thinking think, here. In a yeah. way, though, it can be beneficial because you can bounce ideas off each yeah, other. Yeah. yeah. When you're like kind of on a roll and on the same topic, and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. And there's a lot more moral support, right? Because if you're on your own and something fails, or you read a bad comment, you know, you're really on your own and you turn to your friends. But right now, you have each other. Yes. How how's how's the competitiveness in this couple? Um, how do I say, uh, content creator journey? Because I, I know in the States or in the West, they have a lot of them. And how is it like also in Singapore? Maybe you can start from Sam first. Yeah, I mean, the kind of couple space on social media is very, very competitive. Right. I think Monica and I are kind of very fortunate in the fact that we have a very unique relationship. Like for six years of our relationship, we lived 4,000 miles away from each other. Mm -hmm. So all our content was based around me growing up in England and Monica growing up in New York and the USA. Um, and then since we moved in together, I mean, our life's kind of been a bit of a crazy whirlwind. We moved in together a year ago. We had two weddings. One was for my visa. One was like with all the family and friends. We got a puppy. We moved 2,000 miles away from, from New York. Got our first apartment together. We're building our first house together now. Right. You know, all that kind of stuff. So I think we just kind of got an endless stream of kind of content yeah. there naturally just because we're living a pretty crazy life. Yeah, and it can get like weirdly competitive too. Like I think when we started this, we didn't expect some of the things to happen. Like, like what? we've had people literally like, you know, when it, you hop on a trend, you do your version of the trend. Yeah, we've had people literally as if it was like a script, like copy our video, word right. for word expression, oh. like the way I would move my shoulder, they would move their shoulder. It was just like very 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 strange we didn't right. expect that but i think the majority of like other couples again it's just finding like what's different because all couples are different so exactly i think yeah. just the long distance really helped us kind of navigate but how are we different from everyone else definitely but with you know the space in the us like i said like it is very very competitive and and you can't help but start comparing yourself to other people and, and it can be very bad mentally you know like looking at your friends because I mean, I think you guys can probably say this yourself, like, especially in Singapore, it's such a small place, like all content creators kind of know each other or at least know of each other. So a lot of other couple content creators are our friends and we chat to them as, as friends kind of outside of work as to speak. Right, right. It's kind of tough because you're comparing yourself against your friends and you're like, oh, they did the same kind of trend and it pops off and it did better views wise and their accounts are growing quicker and stuff like that. So it's really kind of, I mean, we were talking yesterday about how we've kind of got to the point now where we're trying not to pay attention. I mean, obviously you're always going to look at the numbers, aren't you? You're always going to look at the reach and the retention rates and, you know, how many comments and likes you're getting and stuff like that. Um, but we're really trying to focus on kind of the meaning behind the comments and kind of how much people are actually enjoying the video and what they're saying to you and stuff like that much more than looking at the numbers now, because it can be really toxic looking, just looking at the numbers. And I got to a point where, I actually took a bit of a social media break a few weeks ago because I was just really in my head all the time looking at the numbers and all that kind of stuff. And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's tough. a bit of a rabbit hole you don't want to go down. Of course, of course. And I'm, I'm sure whether you're a co couple content creator or like an individual content creator, that is always something that's really difficult. What's the landscape of couple content creation here in Singapore? Is it saturated? Because literally you two are the only one that I know. Well. Uh uh, there are other international yeah. couples out there and uh, there are other side. couple even creators even out there. Uh, I think we have a lot of people asking us, hey, some other couple doing this, uh, you're, why you're not doing this? Or, you know, sometimes people like to compare. Right. right. But to us, we just feel that sometimes if we get together and we hang out, that's better for everyone, right? And we would love to meet yeah. other interracial couples out there, interracial uh, or, or couples out there in general. Yeah, and we will have to make content with them. I think that's yeah. that I should. Think, be I think instead of being competitive, yeah, I feel like all content creators like uh should just come together and make content and bounce off ideas off of each other and yeah and benefit off of each other. And this is what Icon is about: trying to bring different content creators exactly. from different walks of life, so that we can create a more like cohesive environment where ideas can be exchanged and collaborations can be forged. And you know, I'm I'm. I'm glad that we're able to do this. And this is the first icon. So hopefully many more to come with the subsequent years, right? With Austin, you're contenting, you're creating content with your brother. How is That's that right. like? So usually we have, if we have different, like different opinions. Right. Okay, so we are a bit different. We will just release our own videos. So we see which perform better. So like you guys yeah. just say that, okay, you should and we should, uh, I should. And then we just see which one does better. Yes. And yes, it's like a competition. And guess who? Who usually, which video, whose video usually do better? Your brother. Who's here? 
<laughs> I am just pulling her like I'm sure it's you. No, 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 no. We both do quite well. Okay, uh, but okay. Like, but yes, that's it. So is that why they invited you and not your brother? <laughs> no, no. It's just because uh, he's like teaching classes now. Yes, right, right. Yes, yes, and yes, and yes, you decided right. today you don't want to teach, so you're not here. You're not there today. I'm teaching on Saturday. <laughs> okay, yes. okay. So uh, with Bunki, how different are you from your? Real persona and your online persona. Why is that my question? Because <laughs> who is your content creator partner? Uh, nobody. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so so you want me to bring highlight that you are single and you have no one to create content with and that you're a sad little lonely girl there? Yeah, I don't know why. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Girl. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, okay, no, you know why? Because yesterday you were so shy there and I was just telling them that I think Bunki is a little like shy and nervous. But when I went onto her TikTok video, she was nothing like that. She was like, hey guys, today this is what I'm gonna do. I'm like, that was not who I saw yesterday. You know so what's, You know what's crazy? Can I just bust in here? Because I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm sure you kind of feel the same as me. It feels completely different creating content in front of a camera versus yeah, creating content. Yeah, because you're alone. Of, exactly. You are, nobody yeah. is watching you. But, but here, can you see how many people there are here? But it's but, gonna be in a big so Okay, so who was here yesterday? Who was here yesterday? Is she so much different from yesterday? Yesterday she was so quiet, but today she's like, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Like your question like sparked something in me. Oh, uh, I sparked something yeah. in you. Yeah, but I. Oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Annie, are you single? I uh, I am single, very single. No, I'm not single. <laughs> she's not single. She's together. not single. Oh, you're not. Yeah. I'm so sorry, sorry. Okay. Anyway, back to the question. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm quite different online and offline for like very like obvious reasons. I have to right. behave myself in public settings, and when I'm at home filming on my own. I can like unleash myself. Nobody's watching me. I don't have to right. feel like, oh, oh, I don't want to disturb somebody. I don't want to be too noisy. I don't want to, you know, be annoying. But right. when I'm alone, I can be annoying. I can just say whatever I want. So it's much easier. So when you go for like events or like, you know, PR stuff. Oh, I'm so shy. Yeah, do people so expect nervous. you to be? Yeah, do people know, expect you? Yeah, yeah, they'll come up to me. They'll be like, oh my God, uh, you, are, you are normal. Then I'm like, yeah, of course I'm normal. What are you talking about? <laughs> so open yeah. up a little bit more because people expect you to be like No, but it's, still, it's also very stressful for me. Like, yeah. I, like when I'm making videos, I, I know what I'm going to say in a video, but holding conversations is another, another skill set on its own. Yeah. It's, yeah. I, it's, it's crazy how different that is because like, you can create a TikTok video that gets a million views, but it's, it's a number on the screen and it doesn't, it doesn't make you nervous in the way that people talking, make yeah. Yeah, yeah. people actually talking in person, yeah. So I completely true. understand why yeah. you're different in person versus on camera because it's a completely different ball game. But is it is it like your true persona? Is it the one that's behind the cam or in front of people? Actually, yeah, that's no, a very but, good okay, question. It depends on who's in front of me. If like I'm with my close friends, then obviously I can be myself. I can be so, the person so the on the camera. Okay, so the yeah, person in the camera is the one that is the true person, yeah, yeah. and only your true friends get to know, get to feel mm, that. Okay, but right. I'm the so camera is basically like your best friend. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah. But I am so glad to see you opening up, which means that you're more comfortable with us right now and you're yeah, more comfortable right. on stage. So that's that's a good ending for this trip for you. So yeah. before we end, because they're counting me down, what is the biggest um, takeaway that you have had from Icon since yesterday? We can go this way. Biggest takeaway? In what way? Um... Flying most to memorable. The most memorable, like um, what what have you learned here, or what like the friendship forge, or whatever it is yeah. that you feel like. I mean, I loved meeting other creators. Um, it's been really really cool. It's been really cool, kind of seeing everybody's different filming styles, and like I said about like coming up with different ideas for content. I've also loved meeting all of you guys, Singaporeans, right? You have a lot of fans yeah. here. I heard like yesterday, a lot of them were just waiting for you outside. That's amazing. We absolutely love that. Aww. Yeah. So um. That's been the most fun part is just meeting everybody, whether it's creators, staff, kind of people watching. Right. That's, that's been the most fun for me. It just it gives me such an adrenaline rush. Yeah. Well, Monica? I was literally going to say the exact same thing. He took the words right out of my mouth. And that's same why he's thing. your husband. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and Easy? I think the biggest takeaway was that we learned that content creators can actually work together. Yes. And it's not a competitive market. It's a... It's a conducive and collaborative I love that. Collaborative Content market. creators out there, yeah. please work with each other. Yeah, yeah, work with each other. Give each other. Uh, just bring each other out. Just make friends. I don't think that uh, we should all be so closed off. And, you know, hey, see, hey you competitor, la, you competitor. We should all be, you know, together. And, you know, just bring each other out for events and everything. So I think, the, yeah, 
that's my biggest. Like problem. lift each other up instead of like just one person climbing up. Yes, definitely. I we were like singing that. High School Musical yesterday because we're like we're all, all in this together. together. We are though. It's so true. <laughs> <laughs> and Shireen. I think for me, my biggest takeaway was just learning about everybody's style, especially when we were collaborating during the making of the video. Right. Everyone was bouncing off different ideas and it was like things that I would not think about. Right. So it's so interesting to see how different people think. Yeah. Austin. <coughs> Shuts, you all say finish with you, I say it. <laughs> oh my god. I think it's really about like really bouncing the ideas. Like I, I, I really like the point where everybody comes together and bounce off ideas. Because usually it's me and my brother bounce each other. Then like if we have disagreement, okay, then we just go our own ways, that kind of, and, and do. So I think it's really, really interesting. Like like we bounce off ideas from different people, from different like where's it like relationship and bunky, you know, uh, you know, like the uh, very like uh, like a uh, very bombastic uh, performance on TikTok. <laughs> you know, like like different ideas. Uh, it's, it's really really interesting. It's not like one certain format. So right. yeah, I think that's the biggest thing away especially collaborating with so many people it's one of the first times that we i actually i come out and like like talk to different creators okay and bunki last but not the least i think my biggest takeaway is meeting everybody here and all the other creators i think it's very fun to meet creators because like we all do different things online and off offline but then we are also passionate in like creating content that we can like just talk hours and hours about trends about videos how to take videos etc etc et yeah, yeah, and yeah it's so relatable right kind of because out there with like your outside friends you can't really have a conversation about yeah. creating content with them. So that's exactly what yeah, I was going to say. That's right, yeah. It's such, it's kind of, it's a very unique job that we have. Mm. And especially where Monica and I live, like this, I don't think there's any other content creators in our city. No, <laughs> not Florida. Like the only one? I mean, in our, in our city, in Florida, obviously there's a ton, but yeah, in our I, city, I was St. Augustine, um, there's, I mean, we don't know of any other content creators. So it's, it's really cool to be able to kind of, meet other creators face to face and, and be like, oh, what do you think about this and this and this? And they Actually, know exactly what you're talking about. Would you two be like open to moving to LA and like create content there? Because I know that's where all the content creators are or is like Florida like safer and nicer yeah, well, and- We actually, we thought about moving to California pretty strongly, didn't we? Mm -hmm. um, when we were living in New York, we, it was between kind of like Florida, Texas, Georgia and um, California. And the reason we ultimately decided not to live in California is because my family and all my friends live in England. It's like a 15 hour flight from England. So it's, if I need to go back in an emergency, it's, 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 it's longer. Further. Yeah. And it's okay. also, it's about five hours from your family as well and stuff like that. So, so yeah. Florida is like a nice in between. Yeah. It's kind of, yeah, it's a good middle ground. We've nice, got the heat, nice. we've got, you know, lovely, friendly people. Monica's family is a thousand miles away. Mine's about 4,000 miles away. Um, We've got our dog there, building our first house there. So we, we're really kind of starting to make it at home, aren't we? And we're loving it there. Okay, we look forward to the update of the home and your family live oh, in yeah. Florida. And with that, thank you, Sam thank and you. Monica, EC, Shireen, um, Austin, and Bunki. Thank, thank you for you. joining thank me today. Thank you so much, everybody watching. Yeah, Big round of applause for them, guys. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you to Ben for being thank insane. You. Thank you, thank you.